Trobe 2022. Hi, Saviors GH here. Today, we're gonna do a Trobe gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Trobe is a sandbox action MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game, okay guys? Here are the different classes. And by the way, when you open this game, you immediately name your character and you will end up in this place. This is where you're gonna create your character. This is where you're gonna choose your class. And here we are, we're gonna choose our class. Here are the different classes, guys. We got the Tomb Racer, the Boomeranger or Boomeranger, the Gunslinger, the Candy Barbarian, and the Knight. How about let's play as a Gunslinger? Choose. Here it goes. We're a gunslinger. What's this? Trovian. Next, next, next. Go. Okay, here it goes. We're in the game. We can move with WASD. Move the camera with the mouse. I tried pressing the right mouse button. Okay, there it goes. We can charge up with the right mouse button. Do a quick attack with just one tap. How about the left mouse button? Okay, here's the left mouse button attack. The right mouse button, you can charge it. Here it is. Boom. How about the middle mouse button? Nothing. Okay, so we can jump with space. How about E? Q, R, F, Z, C. Okay, no. There it goes. Let's proceed with the game. There's an arrow over there. I'm assuming we need to defeat those. Some shadows. Okay, we got that one. Use a charge attack to the other one over there. Let's go, bro. I'm liking this class. I think the last time I played, I played as a booming ranger. Okay, anyway, let's loot. Ooh, what's that? It's asking me to press B for my inventory. Stone Age Rage. Okay. I think that's a mask. There it goes. We have a new mask. Open up our bag again. We have another item over here. What's this? Avian Avenger. Equip it. Okay, it's another mask. But which is better? Okay, let's just wear whatever. Let's proceed. There goes another target over there. Oh no. It's a platform. Ooh, but we're getting attacked. Let's go. So the combat of the game is action, guys. This is not gonna be boring. How can I loot again? E. Okay, there it goes. Check up the item. We got another mask. But I think it's kind of better. Power rank 10. Equip. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't even know if that's really strong or not. Jump. Now shift. You can dodge attacks with shift. There it goes. We're tomb breeding. Confront the threat at the end of the path. Ooh. Let's go, bro. We have a charge attack. Is this AOE? Oh, yeah. The charge attack is AOE. What is this? Some kind of a popcorn. Let's equip it. Popcorn? But what is this? Oh, it's a gun. Oh, look at this. Our gun is a popcorn. But how about this? Another gun. The popcorn has 20 magic damage. The ore gun, the organizer, is. I think it's slightly better. Yeah, higher movement speed. Oh, no. The other gun is head, the other one is movement speed. So how about let's try the popcorn first. Look at this. A popcorn gun. I thought we we're gonna shoot out popcorn. No. Okay, anyway. Let's proceed. There goes the boss over there. Let's charge up. Let's go near first. Let's go, bro. Oh, I wasn't able to hit him. Oh, wait a minute. He's not a target. What? He summoned somebody. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Uh oh, what's happening? I thought I'm dying. The screen is turning red. Can I loot this? Okay, there it goes. What's that? There's a lot of mask in this game. So how about an armor or a cape or a headgear? Some boots? <laughs> Everything is a weapon or a face mask. Okay, anyway, let's proceed. And there it goes. Summon my cornerstone. What? Is this my cornerstone? I think this is what he's talking about. Cornerstone. Press E to claim. There it goes. Our personal housing. There's a lot of building in this game, by the way, guys. You can build anything you want. Cornerstone. Press tab to change between adventure and build mode. And there it goes. We're on build mode. What are we supposed to build? Okay, so we're lasering the ground, I think. What does that mean? Okay, we're lasering the ground. <laughs> Press and hold. Ah, that's how we destroy and put something over there. We need to destroy three blocks. Okay. Destroying three blocks. And we're done with the quest. M1 to place three blocks. There it goes. Look at this, guys. This is how we build. So how about let's try to write something. Oh, I can't write anything because it's getting undone. 
Okay, anyway. So, I need to look for nodes. Okay, I think that's how we gather too. There we go. So we're gathering some nodes. By the way, guys, this is an MMORPG. You can see other players here. I played this last year and there's a lot of people playing this game. So, I need to get more nodes. And we're done. We need to change back to adventure mode and hunt down this bat. Okay, there it goes. Now I need to defeat the Shadow Bombardier. Okay, where's the Bombardier, bruh? Jump. I can't see him. He's not appearing. And there it goes. It disappeared. Don't forget, you can exit build mode by pressing tab. Okay, I'm pressing tab. There goes build mode. And then exit out. There he goes. And there goes the shadow guy. Can we snipe him? Snipe? Oh, yeah. And he is defeated. Continue through the cave. Use R to throw some item. I can't describe that item, guys, because YouTube is kind of sensitive with that word. And you know, I'm not that popular. <laughs> and YouTube might blacklist me for mentioning that word. But anyway, let's use the item. R. There he goes. Proceed. Another cornerstone. Claim it. Open the crafting bench. There we go. We're opening the crafting bench. And we're crafting in the game. So there's crafting in the game, guys. But of course, there is crafting in this game. There's a lot of building here. Might as well put some crafting. Now what? Change mode. Press B to open the build inventory. Now I need to place the loot collector over here. Uh, no. No, 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 no. How do I place the loot collector? Oh, I need to put it on the hot bar. It's already on the hot bar. So how about let's do this. There it goes. We got the loot collector. Now I need to open the loot collector. Opening it. Get the toy gun. Collect all. Okay, I collected all. Now I need to use Zay to mount. There it goes. We got uh, some kind of a toy horse. Reach portal near the top of the spire. Let's go. We're reaching the top of the spire. Is there an enemy here? I forgot already. And there goes the portal. Let's go. What happened, bruh? I tried to go to the portal. Okay, I need to press E. <laughs> and what is this? We need to find Cube Sly. Okay, we need to look for that guy. Jump. Where's Cube Sly? Ooh, I think we need to ride over here. Press X for the Mag Rider. There it goes, guys. Oh, no music. Oh, my God. I need to talk a lot because there's music in the background. Or I should probably just disable the music while editing. Problem there is I might forget. Let's jump. Exit out of my grab. Stand on the updraft. And then press space. Then space again. To glide. Look at this guys. We're gliding in the game. Oh what's happening with the camera. And then we need to follow the arrow. Okay. Ah this place. I need to fight somebody over here that I can't defeat. Oh what's happening. I need to press Q. We need to attack this one. From afar. You got it. And then this one too. And what is this? Can we loot this? Spy on Todd's room. Okay, we're gonna spy on the enemies. Use M1 and M2 to defeat the guy. Okay. What is this? Rejuvenation station. That's the hill. Open up. We're still spying, but why is the tutorial asking me to press M1? Oh, dodge. I forgot. It's shift. Let's go, bro. Man, he's really tough. If I remember correctly, somebody's gonna help me here. Let's go! Oh my god. Is there a limit to the dodge? Ah, oh, there's a cooldown. Let's go, bro. Ooh. Man, I'm almost defeated. HP! There goes the knight. Help me up, bro. Tank him. Tank him up. Taunt him, bro. Increase your malice. I'm gonna charge up. Let's go! Finishing blow. And there you go. What happened there? I think the fight is over. They're talking. And we're done. Well done. Good job, Trovian. Press H. Okay, I need to hold H to go to the hub world. What is this? Question mark. Exclamation. Okay. Whatever that is. Gem day. And there it goes, guys. People playing. Look at this. A very active MMORPG. Look at this one. He looks cool. 
Okay guys, as usual, cash up. We're gonna check out the item mall of the game, the microtransactions, the item mall, the cash up, what else do we call them? Okay, anyway, here it is guys. They're calling it the store. Very simple. And they're giving away some free cake mount. Okay, get this. Bye. There it goes. We got a cake mount. Okay, we're gonna take this later. What's this? Free starter class? Okay. Let's take this free starter class. Okay, we got that, whatever that is. And then the next item over here is the jump starter pack. And based on the description, guys, these are bag expansions plus one bag expansion. And we get a rocket mount. And then this box is over here. And I think those are gacha boxes, guys. So yeah, we're gonna confirm it by checking out the other tabs. We're not gonna check out the deals because we don't know what these items are. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> The players are very noisy. I can hear them. They're very loud. Okay, anyway, let's check out the credits. Oh yeah, prices. And here's the prices, guys. 900 credits is 5 USD. Oh, okay. So normally, 750 credits is 5 USD. But if you're buying the first time, you get 150 credits as a bonus. Okay, so those are the prices. Now let's move on to this tab, whatever this is. Okay, here's the premium subscription, guys. We got 15 days, 30 days, 3 months, 6 months, 1 year. It's here. 15 days of premium subscription is 5.5 USD. And if you have a premium subscription, you can level up faster, jump higher, better drops, double the daily rewards, more chaos chests. I guess those are the gachas. You can mine faster, you can heal more, and you can craft faster there's more benefits and here it is if you're interested now moving on to the crystal tab what is this is this a piñata oh yeah it's a piñata contains 25 primal paragon piñatas if i remember correctly this is kind of a randomized box but they made it in a more fun way because you can summon a piñata and then you're going to have to defeat it to get the loot and i think you can share it with other people yeah, about, let's read the description. Spawns a primal paragon piñata when thrown. Defeating it will give something good to the person who throws it and seven other random people nearby. Okay, there it goes. So this is the piñata tab. Oh no, I think this greater godian topside cast, this is a gacha for items in the game. And according to the description, crafting materials including crystalline cores, tradable mounts, allies, or tomes. So those are the things that you might get from this box. There's a wallet expansion for some reason. It increases the goodest that you can have. And there's more gacha boxes over here. And a better kind of piñata. More gacha boxes. Now it's called the Greater Crystal Cache. Contains valuable Godian crafting materials. Or rarely accelerate, lodestar, silver companion eggs, tradable mounts, or tradable space expanders. Okay, gacha boxes. Now let's move on to the gem tab. Man, they're not explaining what this gem booster box is. According to the description, open the gem dust boosters or rarely an empowered gem box. But if I remember correctly, I played this last year and I think I got some gems. It adds some stats, guys. It adds some stats and you can level it up. Okay, so how about I just noticed that I have this cash up currency over here. No, it's a different kind of currency and I think I can buy it. So let's buy it. And let's try opening it. Open up our bag. Here it goes. Gem booster box. Let's open it. And there it goes. Loot box. There it goes. The word that you guys are very interested in. That's the keyword. Loot box. Or some people call it the box of nightmares. There it goes. Let's open it. Nice. You got cosmic gem dust. What? I think that's the crap thing that you can get. What? Man. Okay, guys. We got some crap. Well, anyway. See? You're most likely not gonna get the thing that you want. Let's close the bag. This free regenerator is over here. It's used to repair and remove gems. And these are the items that boost the level of your gems. So how about let's move on to the dragon tab. Man, another currency. According to the description, this is used to hatch dragons from dormant dragon eggs. And those can be mounted or can be your pet. And it gives you abilities like shoot fireballs. Anyway... Here's another gacha box over here. You can get a golden dragon egg here, but for a very, very low chance. <laughs> Super low chance. Okay, there it goes. A dormant lunar egg. If you can hatch this, you can get a mount or a pet, depending on what you want it to be. I think you need to unlock the mount feature. Okay, I forgot. Well, anyway, it's a mount or can be your ally. Now in the style tab, man, what is this? It's a Krabby cabbage. According to the description, it's an ally. Okay. And I think these are skins and maybe party items. 
contains five dragon allies to match Sahidin. Okay, anyway, it contains five dragons that can help you, I guess. And then I think this is a mount, a mechanized hydration tractor. Oh yeah, it adds movement speed, but it has some kind of a special function. It waters all plants that are ready to be watered within a small radius. Okay, this one is a sower and a harvester, and I'm assuming they have their own special function that helps in farming. Then we got your traditional mount over here, a melon. <laughs> And then amount grip 3000, 90 movement speed. Okay, so there it goes. We can buy mounts in the game. There's a unicycle, some wings. Okay, so we can fly in the game if you have wings. Nice. What? And there's even a ship. Okay, so they're sailing in the game. And here are the different skins, guys. You can be a clown. What's this? Is that a cop or something? Here's a techno tenor, a rhymester. Corgian Barbarian, <laughs> kind of like a Corgi costume, Twilight Ranger, Steadfast Striker. There's a lot of skins in this game, guys. You're going to have fun with this. Now, I checked out the more tab and, you know, there's more of the same thing. So let's move on to the classes tab. Now, this prehistoric pack over here, this includes a class and some of the stuff that goes along with it, like mounts and some costumes. Here's the description, guys, if you're interested. These are packs. And yeah, we can buy classes in this game. Look at this. Here's the Dino Tamer, the Chloromancer, Lunar Lancer, Revenant, Tomb Bracer, Boomeranger, Boomeranger, Dracolite, Gunslinger, Neon Ninja. Oh my god, there's a lot of classes that you can buy in the cash shop. Candy Barbarian, Fate Trickster, Shadow Hunter, Ice Sage, Pirate Captain, and the Knight. And that's the cash shop, guys. I'm pretty sure you saw what you needed to see. And let's go back and play the game. Okay, we're back in the game, guys. I fast forwarded it a bit because, you know, I just talked to an NPC and then it sent me into this instance dungeon. So our quest is we need to slay the fungal king. Let's go. What's happening? We're leveling up. Okay, loot. Open that up. I think that's better. Is it better? Yup. Okay, let's go. There's a portal over here. Let's go. Oh, I need to press E. What's happening here? What? Objective completed. <laughs> okay, I remember if somebody in here completed it and you're just starting, you also complete the quest. So yeah, you can leech. <laughs> Let's get out of this place. And there he goes. Look at this world, guys. What's happening? It's kind of a... Uh, what's that? Attacker. Let's go, bro. And we got him. Okay, so... I think we need to go back to the hub world. And there we go. We're going back to the hub world. Look at this, people playing. And you know what? I played this a few times already and there's always a lot of people playing this game. And hardly anybody's talking about it. I don't know any trove content creator. Anyway, what am I supposed to do? According to the quest, I need to complete another dungeon. What? Okay. Another dungeon. This dungeon? Permafrost world. Okay, so how about let's go to the permafrost world. And there it goes. What's happening? Somebody's attacking us. Okay, let's enter the station. Oh no, I think this is how we recover. Do we need to interact with this guy? Would you like to start the following adventure? Okay, he started that. Now what? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I need to do another dungeon. And there's a portal over there. So how about let's just go there. See how it goes. Let's go. Enter. And we enter that portal. Now what? There's this green thing over here. Oh, I can jump if I go there. Let's go. What is this? What am I supposed to do here? I don't understand this place. Can we die if we jump in here? Jump? Oh, I forgot. We can glide. Look at this, guys. Nice. This is the good stuff. Okay, so, don't know what to do. Let's go back to the whole world. It says objective completed. So how about let's pick another place. Talking to this NPC, nothing happens. I guess, how about this? We're still level 5. So this should be the place, permafrost world. So let's enter the medieval highlands again. Maybe we can find the mushroom there. <laughs> I wasn't able to see the mushroom. And we're back in the medieval highlands. Here's the portal. There's no boss over here. I, okay, I need to turn over the quest. Oh, look at this pinata, guys. Oh, give me some. Give me some. That's mine. Okay. 
Can I loot? Nope. It's kind of a noisy though. Look at this, guys. They're bringing piñatas. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, again, let's try. I need to turn over this quest. But how can I turn it over? Open up our map. According to the quest, I'm already done. I need to get out of the dungeon, which I did. But nothing happens after that. How can I confirm this quest? Okay, anyway, let's just do another dungeon. Figure it out. What's happening here? Okay, so how about let's go to the castle over there. See what happens. Ooh, what is that? I think that's an enemy. Let's attack it. Boom! Come here, bro. Let's go! He's dead. There's nothing. You're not giving me any loot. Ah, oh, here's another one. I think this is how we grind in the game. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What's that? Another mask. Oh, yeah. We got another mask. And there it goes. We got a new quest. We need to slay the White King. Uh, how can I do that? I think this is where the castle is. But I don't know how to enter. Is it a castle or do I just hunt the boss over here? I kind of saw some kind of... A okay, that's where I came from. Okay, here it is, guys. The portal to the dungeon. Man, this game is not good with instructions. And... This game is not exactly easy to figure out because it's all cubes. But anyway, here goes the portal. Let's go. What? What's happening? That's not the portal. What am I supposed to do here? Ooh, what? I need to go over there. Okay. Should I fight? Let's go. Oh, I think I need to AOE. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. That's true. From the start, I checked this game a few times now, and every time I play, there's a lot of people in the hub town. It's for sure an active MMORPG. My 2022 experience, I still have a bit of a problem with the progression, but still now, I don't know where to go. Quest just pops out and gets finished, and I don't even know what happened. Then the quest, I don't know how to turn it over and proceed to the next quest. I know, if I play a bit more, I would know where to go. But point is, a new player will have difficulty with this. They shouldn't fix the quest progression. Now the combat, it feels great. I like it. It's action. Now the graphics is colorful and very QB. If that's even a description. I do like it. It's different. As for the performance, it ran smooth without any hiccups. All in all, it's not bad. It's actually a fun action MMORPG wherein I can build and explore. My only problem here is the target audience are younger. And they have gambling-like items in the cash up, like the gachas, which I believe shouldn't be in this type of MMORPG. So that's my opinion. And if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.